Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Great Journey. And in this episode, we are going to talk about work ethic. So sometimes these episodes won't just be about Halo, although I might make some comparisons to Halo, but I'll definitely have the footage in the background. But this show, The Great Journey, is also just kind of audio logs. It's just stuff about my life, things how, you know, how I feel about certain topics, things like this. And we can also do votes at some point and, uh, you know, in the community board and see what topics you all would like to hear in future episodes. I'll give you a couple options and you let me know, um, you know, what you might be thinking. Because I know I have people from different age groups that watch sometimes. You know, I have younger people, um, people my age, and then somewhere in between as well. Um, I, I don't know how many people I have that are older than me that watch, but um, if you are, you know, please share your life experiences too when it comes to these topics. I'd love to hear your thoughts on, uh, you know, on these episodes down in the comments for sure. Um, so in this episode, I wanted to do one of these early right after the first episode. So that way you can kind of get a sense of what this show will be like um, beyond just Halo, which is, uh, you know, like I said, things that are just on my mind. This is an audio log of my opinions on things that I think are interesting to me about human behavior, human nature, and um, and one of them is work ethic. You know, I, I've worked in a, a lot of jobs. Uh, I, apparently, I've worked a lot, a lot, a lot of jobs uh, throughout my life and started working when I was around like 13 or 14. And uh, and so from then till now, unfortunately, I don't have the memories of all those earlier jobs from 2010 and before that. Um, so there, you're looking at maybe like 15 years or so of, of jobs I don't remember. But for the jobs I do remember from 2010 onward, you know, I've had still quite a few uh, from production stuff like working in movies and TV um, to comic books, working at comic stores and working as an editor in comics, working in marketing comics, um, you know, signing comics, writing comics, drawing a couple things comic related, um, you know, doing Twitch, doing YouTube, uh, working retail, working at Lego. Like uh, just in the last 11 years, I've had a ton of jobs. And I think that was my body in a way kind of in reflex mode I guess before my aneurysm I worked a lot too I worked all the time and uh, and that's I think ultimately what led to my health problems was the amount of work I think there was a time where I didn't I didn't take a day off in like two months or something like that like I think I worked every single day and when you work production and stuff you work like you know 14 16 hour days sometimes you don't eat sometimes you eat for five minutes um, you know you're not staying hydrated enough and it could lead to a lot of stuff. So I guess in this episode, I'm just, I just wanted to talk about work ethic in general and when it's, you know, is it a good thing to have all the time, I guess. And, uh, and I don't know the answer. Some of these things I'll talk about, I, I won't know the answers to because I'm still learning myself. Um, but I just, I don't know. I felt like this was an important topic for me to, to jump into right away. And it's, uh, it's, I guess, because we live in this world now where, it seems like everyone's busy all the time and they put this um, facade on online that they're constantly grinding, constantly working and all this stuff. And I'll be honest, uh, I post a lot about like, oh, I'm working on this day. I'm working on that today. And sadly, I do. I do all that stuff. <laughs> and I, and sometimes I wish I didn't. Uh, there would be times where I'm like, you know, I wish I cut this out today and I wish I, I didn't do this today and saved it for another day or, or balanced this better, or scheduled things better because I'm not very good at scheduling. So if I just say these are the five things I got to do today, I keep going until those five things are done. And I think that's just my body you know, going through the motions of what I used to do when I worked in production and everything like that. Like I, I've, I've been working for a long time, whether I remember it all or not. Uh, and it's, it's taken its toll on me. And so I, I, I guess I just wanted to get your opinion on work ethic, you know, um, and, and how you work, like what, you know, do you balance your day better than I do? You know, are you uh, more cognizant and aware of, of overworking yourself than I was? Um, cause I literally worked until I dropped, like when I was 28, I, I dropped almost dead dropped. And that's uh that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of imagine when you're in your 20s like you're you know you can handle a lot for the most part. Your body is built uh, uh differently and it can handle stress to a certain degree and it can handle certain things. Uh not saying you should do that to yourself and force yourself through it, but you can. I mean, you, your body can deal with it for only so long. And I found the end of the, you know, the wick and that you know, it finally you know, the bomb went off and I couldn't uh couldn't make anymore, couldn't even stand. So um so I guess 
I, I want to hear from you. Like, you know, what is, is work ethic? I think it should be important to everyone to have a work ethic. I don't mean to say that there aren't times where you should be a little lazy, but, um, but I think it's, I don't think that's a bad thing sometimes. I just wish I could allow myself to do it. I, I've done it a couple times, you know, for sure. Over the past few months, I keep saying, I'm going to rest more. I'm going to do this more. And uh, it turns out I, do, I don't that much. <laughs> I really don't. That's the lie I tell uh, in public is that, oh, yeah, that's okay, guys. I know you're worried about me, but I'm going to rest more. Don't worry. I'm going to take this day, and I'm not going to do anything that day. And it's a lie. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm to be completely honest with you, I, that's a lie when I say that. I, I will find something to do that is, uh, whether it's YouTube related or Neverland related or House of Ghosts related, anything like that. Like I will find something to write or something to edit or something to film, or uh, I'll find a shelf that needs to be, uh, you know, put into my wall. I'll, I'll find a poster that needs to be framed and hung on my wall. I'll need, I'll rearrange my room again. Like I, I always find things to do because I only know how to work. And um, I don't think it's very healthy. So I think this perception I have that work ethic is a must and that it's it's a great thing for people. I actually, it's, it's one of the things that um, kind of makes me befriend people is when I see people who have really good work, et- work ethics, I instantly have respect for them. Um, I think that's important to have a good work ethic and to not uh, phone it in when you're able to do more. Like why give 50% when you're able to give 100%, and I don't think you should give 130% every single day, like, because uh, that clearly leads to bad things sometimes. So I'm not advocating for that. I'm just, I guess, just saying that having a work ethic is good, but knowing when to stop and taking a break and focusing on you is also good. I just don't know how to do it, you know? So I guess this episode is me looking for advice on this uh, this great journey, right? Like I'm I'm asking for advice and and asking what you do. What do you do in these situations when you are, you know, working too much? Do you, do you allow yourself to stop or do you just keep going? Um, or do you, are you the opposite? Do you just find it hard to motivate yourself to work? Um, I'd love to hear from you too if you have that going on because I know sometimes it, it's not easy. We work jobs that aren't very, you know, they don't respect us and they don't treat us well and, uh, and the downside is they don't have to because sometimes when you work for companies, they uh, they know you're replaceable. If, if you tire out or phone in your performance, they look for reasons to get rid of you or say they don't need you or they downsize or whatever and you're one of the ones they cut because you didn't give 100% or whatever. And sometimes you're still cut even when you do give 100% or even more than 100%. And sometimes it just feels hopeless. And, and that's why I think sometimes people don't try anymore is because of the amount of times that they tried so hard and it didn't, uh, you know, amount to anything in their eyes. Um, but I think it still amounts to something, whether you, whether the supervisors you have notice your hard work and say you're a hard worker or not, what matters is that you know that you're a hard worker and that your work did make a difference on some level. And yeah, sure. Maybe we're all replaceable, but just because you replace me doesn't mean you replace me with someone who cares more or who is better at the job than I was. Um, you just getting another warm body is, is not really replacing me. Um, so to me, I don't know. I have been where I've worked for companies that didn't care that I existed. And I've worked for companies that cared a lot that I existed. And then sometimes they cared and I didn't and, or they didn't care about me and I did, you know, and, and rarely do you have a job where you, you care and they care. And I feel like I have that job right now. Um, at Harley Davidson and I've been there for a year now and I'm, you know, ecstatic to, to have the people I work with. It, it's, it's a great, um, place to kind of, you know, retire in a way. Like I hope as my, my brain, you know, deteriorates and stuff that I hope I'm still have enough muscle memory to know how to fold shirts and to talk to people on a daily basis. Um, so that way I can continue to do that job and hopefully they, they see that value and that hard work in me and they keep me around um, because uh, I like being there. And I think the people there, they genuinely do care about me and that's rare. And so if you do find that out there, even if it's not a job you think is your dream job, hang on to it for a little bit because I think you might learn something about yourself and about the people you work with and how their work ethics are and then something you maybe you can learn from them to go on to 
your dream job when it does arrive or when you do find it and you you actively go after it. Um, I had a dream job and it was to work in comic books. It's all I, I guess I wanted to do since I was a kid. But I then I forgot my whole life when I turned 28 or after I was 28. And I, I guess I went through the motions. You know, I went back to L.A., worked in TV, got back into comics, you know, edited comics. I, I achieved the dream job that the kid in me wanted to do all those years ago. But sadly, it wasn't my dream. It wasn't the dream I wanted. Um, I found that uh, that my dream is just to be able to pay my bills. It, it's a really simple dream. I just like earning my way, which is why it's hard for me to ask for help, ask, ask for money to borrow. I really hate doing it. I do it from time to time. Um, and I usually, I pay people back when they do let me borrow money, but I hate asking for money and I hate borrowing money. I want to just earn my own way because I know there will be a time where I probably won't be able to do a lot of things myself and I, I'm not ready for that yet. So I think that's why right now I push myself so much and I do too much is because I, I can't, you know, I don't know. I, I can't, um, I can't stop because I know there will be a day where I won't have the choice. Um, so, you know, something will make me stop. And so until I get there, I guess I'm, I'm just all about pushing myself. Uh, so if you have any advice for me on how to take a day off, <laughs> you know, um, uh, more than like one in a you know month, <laughs> cause I have two days off every week from work. Um, and I say, all right, today I'm just going to rest or I'm going to sleep in. And I, I don't, I don't do it. Uh, even when I post like, don't worry, everyone, I, I rested today. Sometimes I didn't. Um, you know, it's true. Like, uh, none of us are perfect. We all lie on, on some level. And, and I think the thing I lie about is I don't like people worrying about me cause I don't like pity. So, uh, and I don't like concern. Like when people are concerned for me or worry about me, like, I just don't like that. I don't want people to to think I can't make it. Um, so I, I will sometimes say, Hey guys, I, I rested all day. I slept in today. And you know, if you think uh, I'm full of crap when I say that, now that I'm being honest with you in the future, call me out on it. <laughs> say, I know you seek, you didn't rest, you know, get your ass to sleep. And, uh, and I will do my best to take your advice. So, uh, but work ethic and pushing yourself and, uh, dreams and goals and all that stuff. What are yours? How do you push yourself? How do you tell yourself to stop? Let me know down below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. So uh, thank you so much for listening to this episode. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully you like this kind of take on things. If you don't, let me know down in the comments. If you do, I'd love to hear your thoughts too. Um, all feedback is good and it'll help me shape where we go in the show moving forward. So thank you so much. See you in the future. Peace.